Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and today I'll be showing you how I painted Black Widow. Now here at the labs, when we do our painting tutorials, we tend to avoid contrast paints, technical paints. We will focus on using paints that you can find, um, or colors near those paints that are found in these starter sets that Games Workshop puts out, either in its stores, the friendly local game shops, or Barnes & Nobles, or Army Painter, P3, just basic colors you can find out there. Uh, if you like some of these colors here and you don't have them, just pick something close enough. Remember, your model is your own. But to start with, I painted this one um, Mechanicus Gray. Well, primed it Mechanicus Gray, which is this color. Uh, if you can't face you know, spending $22 a can for a can of spray paint to prime little toys, there's also Krylon Gray Primer. I love these for metal. They'll work for plastic. Just don't be too enthusiastic when spraying it onto the model. So primarily the bodysuit is a black, a coal black, to give it a slightly bluish tint. Then over top of that, I used Highlights of the Fang and Pallid Witch Flesh as a little spot color. There are little gun holster, hip holsters, thigh holsters actually, there. There's a Steel Legion Drab and XV88. Her pistols, her sidearms, she's got two of them. That is glossy black with touches of Pallid Witch Flesh for highlight. Her red armor and her hair is a combination of Mephiston Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, and Troll Slayer Orange. Now, to separate uh, her hair from her armor, her armor I did a little spot color of white at the top there, different spots where the light reflects. This will give the sense that it's um, a different material than her hair. Now for the little energy pulses coming out of her gauntlet, I used crystal blue and pallid witch flesh. And for her gauntlets, I used lead belcher, highlighted with rune fang steel. Now, I'll show you various points of this process. I use Nuln Oil to darken down the tones. So, let's get started on this model. Alright, to get started painting Black Widow, I am going to start with the color that covers most of the model, which is her bodysuit, and I'm going to do that in black. But, not just any kind of black, I am going to use coal black. So, this appears to be black, but it's got a hint of... Uh, incubi uh, dark blue color to it. So I'm going to put that on most of the model. And so I give the paint a shake. There we go. Got it open. And I am going to use a brush I've messed up in the past because I'm just going to get this on here. Now while I'm going to try to stay away from what's going to be the red armored pal panels, it doesn't matter if I get them covered, we'll clean that up at that stage. So we go, go ahead, go around the entire model, and get all the black filled in. Alright, so we have Black Widow's bodysuit painted. Now I'm going to take some lead belcher. So a darker metal tone, and I'm going to paint her gauntlets there. So, painted bodysuit and the gauntlets. 
Now you can see here she has some pistols and little straps connecting them to her thighs and for that we're going to use steel age and drab so we'll use this brown color so I'm going to use my fine point brush and I'm just going to ride across the top of the strap And if I slip, I just gotta wet my brush real quickly, pull that paint off the bodysuit. It happens. We'll get a little holster here. Alright, so we have the brown painted on the pistol holster and the straps, and then there's her little emblem on her right shoulder that I want to add a lighter color, so I'm going to use some Army Painter Ash Gray. Just need a little drop there. So I'm going to take my brush with gray here and outline this little shoulder. All right, now what we're gonna do is paint the red of her armor plates. And for that, I will use Mephiston Red. So this is a red base by Games Workshop. So it's one of the darker reds. And what I'm gonna do is not just her armor, but also her hair. So I'm just gonna take my brush I'll just mark out where I'm going to paint red. So her hair. Now this is at the point where we got to start actually focusing and make sure not to slop the lines. So we can see the armor goes here, on the top there. She's got some on her back. And she has little armor plates uh, protecting her hips. So right there. So we'll go ahead, go around, and fill these in. All right, so now I've put the red on her armor plates and the red on her hair. I want to paint her sidearms. Now, they're going to be black, but I'm going to use Vallejo's Glossy Black. And this would give them just a touch more shine versus the other types of um, blacks or uh, the coal black that I'm using. And this way, I can use a lot of black on the model, but... Up close you could tell that they're made of different materials. So she's got two pistols. So we'll go paint these up. So I finished painting the pistols black. And so they come in at a different light than the coal black of her armored uniform there. But now I'm going to darken everything down with some Nuln oil. And this will go into the crevices of the model. 
So in the crevices and recesses of the, the fist in red and the coal black and uh, the lead belcher and the symbol here, it'll go into this crevice, really make the symbol pop, and it'll darken these down, which will be important when we highlight later. So I'm going to get a brush I have messed up in the past, and I'm just going to put some Nolan oil through here. Now I'm not going to do her hair. I'm going to do that a different color. Nice dark there. And all right, so we're going to let this dry for a while, and we'll come back later. All right, the next step is I'm going to work on the flesh tones there. So her face and her hands. And for that, I'm going to use Dwarf Flesh. I'm going to use my tool, get some out of here. I'm going to start painting her face. and her hands. So let's get some more on her face and her hands. Alright, so painted the skin and while I wait for that to dry I am going to take some lead belcher and do some edge highlighting on her little blasty gauntlets. Now I remember I painted that uh, lead, belcher, lead belcher originally and now then I put some Nolan oil over it to darken it down. Now I want to highlight it again with some lead belcher. That way it still remains like a dark metal gauntlet but not something that's bright. So I'm going to take one of my brushes here, and I'm going to take the flat edge of the brush and just run it along certain edges. Then go there. You know, I'm not not enough of a contrast. I gotta be able to see her gauntlets shine, even if dully from across from about four feet from my eye. So let me go use some rune fang steel. I'll call an audible on this play. And try highlighting with some more silver color. Yeah, I think I'll like that better. I'll put some little light streaks. So I'm going to highlight the edges here. Put some quick flips of the brush to make it look like light is streaking across the gauntlet. Okay, that's shiny enough. All right, now let's do some highlighting of the red armor. And so before I used the fist in red, now I'm going to go for a brighter Evil Sun Scarlet.
And with that, I'm going to do a little bit more than edge highlighting. I'm just going to take the top parts of our armor and I'm just going to run a line along the top half, leaving the bottom half darker than the top and give it a sense that light's coming down on top of the model. So. See, it's already starting to give some depth to the armor there. We'll go ahead and go around and do all this red. Once we do the red armor, I'm actually going to use this red to do her hair. So you notice I didn't wash her hair with any color. This is to give it a different feel from her armor, even though I'm using some of the similar paints. There, just trying to pick up the raised pieces of hair. All right, so I blended some of my red in there, and now you're starting to see more of the three dimensionality of the model. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Troll Slayer Orange and these are I'm just going to do some spot highlights and some slight edgings pretty much just on the parts of the model that would be near the light source. So if you imagine lights coming down I'm just going to take my brush and run Fine little edge line across the top parts of her armor. Like that just one little stripe here or there. So just around the top. All right, now we're going to do something similar with her hair. So we've got some of these curls and flips in her hair. So we'll just get the tops of those. You see, I use my fingers to dab some of it off because I got this troll slayer pretty runny. And what that allows me to do is to put on some. Then if I don't like how much I put on, I can touch it with my finger and make it go away. We started off painting her all black and adding some color. We're just starting to be able to see the model more clearly. Give it some depth there. Now, let's start doing a little bit more highlighting here. So I'm going to go back to my 
ash gray. Only going to need a spot of this stuff. And so I did her right shoulder that has this symbol in it in ash gray and then washed it with nolan oil. And so the nolan oil kept to the surfaces and collected in the recesses. And so what happens is I'm just going to put little spots, little streaks of the gray back in there to let you know that there's a three-dimensional object there, that there's a symbol. Happy with that. Now let's do some highlights on her tactical gear. And so for that, I am going to switch to XB88. It, uh, let's see, I start off with Steel Legion Drab, so I'm going to use a lighter XB88 as a highlight. So I'll give that a good shake. I only need a little bit of it. And once again, I'm going to take the flat of my brush and just pick an edge of the strap and follow it down. And then we'll also do the gun holster here. Now if you ever got any of the black on pieces of the gun holster, now's a chance to hide it. Alright, so I finished highlighting up the belt there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some color to her bodysuit. So we used coal black, which is a black, but it's got uh, a hint of a blue in there. And now I am going to use a really dark gray blue uh, from Games Workshop, the Fang. So as a dark gray blue, I think this will be a good highlight color. So I'm going to pick some folds in the cloth, some places where I think light will reflect. I'm just going to run a thin line down those. So we can run that down the length of her thigh, just using the flat of the brush, just a little light coat. We can always add more coats if we want more of a reflection. And you can see how it looks like, well the light in this room is actually catching it. But with that extra paint, it gives it that extra pop that uh, you need there when you're looking at your model from four feet away on the board. So you can make a model look good up close, far away. If you're really talented, you can make it look really good at both length, length distances without making the colors look muddled. I'm not that good. I'll just go for tabletop ready. Uh, make it sing at like four feet. So you can see we can just start adding layers as we see fit. So now what I'm going to do is most of it on the top part of the uniform, not on the bottom. This will give that sense that the light is striking down from the top. And so I'll start catching more of these folds. I'll go ahead and go around all around this model. So the next thing I want to do is she uses little blasters there and shoots little energy beams out. And so what I did is I'm going to take some crystal blue, so a light shiny blue, and I'm going to need my tip 
really sharp for this one because accuracy counts. And what I'm going to do is steady my hand and make a nice horizontal stroke right in the firing port. If some of it spills out, that's fine. That'll just be the glow, the energy leaking out of the blaster. So you see the blue fit right down in there. I'll paint a little bit around to show that it's glowing. And it's charging up to fire. Okay, good. Now I want to do some spot coloring. Just a little subtle highlights. So I'm going to go turn to my palette witch flush, which is uh, white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run just a couple of lines down areas that I want to reflect. So we have the grip of her pistol. So I'm just going to run a slight white spot there. Pick out another part of the pistol. And see, it looks like her pistol's reflecting light like they do in the comics. And we'll do that down this other one. Let's see, there we go. It's very subtle. And now what we're going to do, since we've got the pistols, there's a couple spots around her bodysuit. We'll take a little white, just right there. And this would be like where plates are catching the light. So they're, I want to represent metal plates catching the light there. So on her shin guards. And so less is more in this situation. And, you know, turn them all around. Get all the angles you want. Let's see if there's any other. Oh, I want to get this shoulder. All right, so that makes her plate stand out a little bit more. And we can also do that with the red. Because even though we put the orange down there, I want to show that the red is actually metal plate. So for that, we'll just put a little touch. Here in the corner. And show where the light is running. Alright, and then I'm going to use that white to get just in the center of the blue of the blasters there to show, tell the story of this is where the energy is the most intense, right in the middle.
good. Stepping back and looking, get one a little white right at the edge of this plate. Alright, so that gives her some reflection. And you know what, that separates this red from the red in her hair. Right, so it gives this more of a metallic look, vice the hair, which would have a more organic look. And the last step, there is, we're going to take some barbarian flesh. And you don't have to do this step. I'm just going to try it out. And then I'm going to take some iron rack skin, a little off-white. And I'm going to take my tool here and pull off some iron rack and blend these together. And so what this is going to do is take the barbarian and give it a paler look to it, hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out. We don't actually need much of it. So what I'm going to do with this is just tip of the nose, some areas around the eyebrows, you know, ear, just her bone structure in general. A little bit of paint there. And make her a little bit paler. Since she's a redhead and from the Soviet Union. Alright, so the base, I'll leave for you to decide. Everyone colors their bases differently. This is how I'm going to do Black Widow. She looks good for me, and we're going to call it a day on this one. So thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Lab, and we'll see you next time.